AABC families. This is cycle three, week 12, new memory work. I'm sorry this is so late getting out to you, but um, here we are. So our timeline um, events and motions this week start with Genghis Khan. We made a G, that's your little pincher fingers, um, parallel to each other. Genghis Khan rules the Mongols. We salute England, shake your own hand, England's Magna, which Magna means great, uh, Magna Carta. Okay. Uh, this is, if you remember, Babylon is L for laws, and this is C, it's the, the Carta, um, C for Carta, um, the great, what would that be, the great charter, or the great letter. Um, Ottoman Empire, you're going to do an O, and then draw an oval like you're circling the country of Turkey is about where the Ottoman Empire was, and we're kind of making that shape. So Ottoman Empire, Marco Polo. If you've ever played Marco Polo, it's like you're looking for someone with your eyes closed. So Marco Polo's journey to China. You go across your shoulders and then down to your hip. We use that sign for China um, almost any time that we have um, China in our timeline song. So Marco Polo's journey to China. The Hundred Years War. So one C. Um, like centennial, centennia, one, a hundred years war. And this is our back and forth sign for war. And Black Death, you can cross your arms and you can close your eyes. The kids had fun acting very dead. Uh, oh, Black Death, um, that refers to the plague, right? Um, the Renaissance, cross your fingers and make an R. And then we make that dive under your other arm. Um, so R for Renaissance, and it was like a birth, right? A new birth um, culturally. And then China, again, China's Ming Dynasty. And we're going to build bricks on top of bricks. Um, and that's our timeline. So it goes like this. Ready? Genghis Khan rules the Mongols. England's Magna Carta, Ottoman Empire, Marco Polo's journey to China, the Hundred Years' War, and Black Death, the Renaissance, China's Ming Dynasty. Okay. For math, we learned about some measurements and equivalents. Um, we've been doing a lot of baking, so I only have two clean teaspoon measures, but three of these, right? I need a third one. Um, we did three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Okay. Lots of fun. I said you can sing that when you're baking all your Christmas cookies together. Tell me about General Robert E. Lee for history. And I had pictures, and we know this is General Robert E. Lee because he has the um, Confederate Southern flag that the Southern states designed um, when they seceded. So the song goes like this. In 1865, General Robert E. Lee sur oops, surrendered to General Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia. And we put an apple. This is the Appomattox Courthouse, a picture of it. I put an apple on top to help it really stick in my brain that it's Appomattox. Kind of sounds like apple, even though it's Appomattox. So hopefully that'll help it be memorable for you. Latin, we learned the first verse of John 1, um, putting together those nouns and verbs and prepositions, everything that we've learned um, the first 11 weeks. Now we're putting that together to learn the Latin Bible verse alongside the English in these little pieces. So we're using the tune that we're doing in our morning assembly, and we sang the Latin and then the English, and I had the kids in two teams toss the ball back and forth. So the Latin team would sing it in Latin and toss 
to someone on the English team, and they would sing the verse, that little phrase in English. So we did, in principio erat where boom, toss the ball to somebody, and they would sing, in the beginning was the word. And I tried to have them match up the actual parts, like in, in, principio, the beginning, erat was, um, where boom, word. Uh, so if you're reviewing this at home, you might do a little matching game, make some flashcards, and have them match each part of that. Um, and then science, we did what are the major purposes of blood to the tune of nothing but the blood of Jesus. So it went like this. What are the major purposes of blood? The major purposes of blood are transportation, protection, communication, temperature regulation. Um, irregular verbs, we were on to sit, and I brought in Christmassy paper plates that had each part. Um, I don't know if the lighting is letting you see that I wrote these on here, um, but I put them around for each child to sit on one, and we went around the circle and sang it. So um, they each had their paper plate, and they would sit right on it for that one. So um, to sit, sit, sit. Sit, sat, sitting, sat, and that was just fun to plot down and be a little bit active with that one. Um, and then our geography, let me see if I have a map. We learned our southern uh, parts of the Appalachian Mountains, and those are in here. So the Blue Ridge Mountains, I put little blue soldiers marching between the Virginians. The Cumberland Mountains, I used a cucumber for Cumberland in Tennessee. Um, Tennessee Taps Mount Mitchell, it's under like the very end of Tennessee, and I have an M&M for Mount Mitchell because that starts with M. Um, and then the Great Smoky, the, yeah, the Great Smoky Mountains um, between North Carolina and Tennessee. And then we also learned the Great Valley, which isn't on here, but it's up in New Jersey. So we sang it to the tune, again, of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain, just like we did with the uh, New England features of the Appalachians. This is from CC Happy Mom on YouTube, and it goes like this. I'm going to do my best. Appalachian Mountain Southern Features Blue Ridge Mountains March Between Virginias Cumberland Mountains in Tennessee, Tennessee taps Mount Mitchell, Great Smoky Mountains between North Carolina and Tennessee, the Great Valley. Um, CC Happy Mom does a great job with that on YouTube, and what I have found is that she sings a little bit fast, but if you pull up her videos and then change the little settings in the video window, I let it play at .75 speed and that slows it down to where the kids and I can keep up with her. So if you want to use her, she gives the explanation for those, the way that she sings it, and she does hand motions. Um, she's a great resource. Um, and I think that's our new memory work. We are all done with Tin Whistle. Congratulations. Um, we will be starting fine artists, um, great artists, in the spring. Um, so we'll be going back to um, creating art in that way. And for our presentations, let me just pull out my paper here. For presentations, we are up to the letter M. And older classes are going to be doing a show and tell, bringing something you really like that means a lot to you, and tell a little bit about why it's special to you. That's what we do anyway, isn't it? So just bring something that starts with the letter M. And when you come back in January, and have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Hope to see you guys at the Christmas party on Tuesday. And um, yeah, thanks so much.